Caterpie crew. What's happening, y'all? Thanks for jumping over here. So we had a lot of finds from this garage sale day that we didn't go into detail at all. And I wanted to kind of highlight some of those things because it was an epic day. A lot of people want the pickups. So here we go. Yeah, that one was glorious. But this was the first sale of the day with this crazy uh, PS3 with an evidence sticker on it. That one kind of blew my mind. Very interesting. It's scratched up like they... I don't even want to know what happened there. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened with that PS3, but it's been through a lot. Uh, so that was part of it. It is backwards compatible, so I'm hoping it works. Um, and then the PSP got brought out. It's glorious. The Game Boy Micro, my favorite score. That's just so awesome to see. And then a nice tag of PS4 games. These are beat up, so we're going to have to test these. But you can kind of do a pan over there. The wireless Atari 2600 joysticks. I what can't does remember. What like on the inside? Yeah, let's check these out. I can't remember what they go for these days. But uh, to find them in the original box just randomly is kind of nuts. <laughs> oh, they're packed well. <laughs> yeah. Let's, see, let's open both sides. Well, they're in there forever. <laughs> <laughs> what just fell? The uh, manual? <laughs> Alright. Moment of truth. Okay, so it looks like they've got everything. I this is the receiver for it? That's the receiver. And I've heard these, these work terribly. <laughs> <laughs> but no batteries within, so they should probably be good to go. They're kind of rare. Kind of kind of valuable. So I was like, well, okay, I'll take them. I don't even remember how that was in there. I'm gonna have to watch this back to... <laughs> what a nerd. This way, this way? I don't know, we'll figure it out. What? Probably this way, but that doesn't make sense either. Ooh. What on earth happened? <laughs> <laughs> was it, was like, it that? like that? It was probably it like that. must have just been like that. Yeah, okay. and that's probably why it didn't come out super well, because that's not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, that was all 100 bucks. So five systems, the joysticks, the games, all for 100 bucks. And so I'm looking up Game Boy Micros right now. Uh-huh. And let's go to let's go to sold. This one works well here. Yeah, so that's like blue. Is that like a sticker, or did they come yeah, in different? Yeah, it's a sticker. This okay. would be a, like a gray, black, regular one. But the stickers, even for them, are kind of... Is it OXY001? Let's see. Yes. Tested no charger, recently sold at 160 Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. 160 It looks like another one, 180 with the charger. So this one's in really good shape. Okay. Let me one, see the value. I 190 know for another one? Jeez, so... So yeah, like distributors had some uh, chargers that they were selling for these like a while back for like nothing because they couldn't sell them. And I was like, I bet I'm going to need those someday. <laughs> so I know I have a charger for it. It's kind of proprietary, if I remember right. I'm trying to see if this thing is, is working. It's firing up a Game Boy player. Volume works. That's good. Oh, it's such a nostalgic noise. Where's the start button? Right there. Well, we might Could have be the to, game. Yeah. Try right, one more time. Come out, baby. It's getting the Nintendo logo, which is a good sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully it works. Ooh, we'll we'll keep have to trying. try a different game. We'll let you guys know. <laughs> so that was the first sale, hundred bucks. I'm gonna clear the table here, and we'll put on the next big score of the day, which was probably even better. Okay which is kind of wild because that was a great first four. The thing that's, that's unfortunate about this one is the condition of everything. Yeah. Like, this is super unfortunate because those that don't know, this is the the four USB ports, PlayStation yes. 3, which means it's backwards compatible. It was the very first, essentially, model. The $600 one that yeah, nobody came bought. came out $600. Which except, for, why... except for my family. Did it, did it come with anything here for this? No. Okay. Yep, so that probably won't work. The odds are that it will not work. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll, we'll get a clip of us yeah, testing we'll it out. Yeah, we'll definitely have a clip of seeing what's on that bad boy. Oh, let's look at this. 
and then this one was nuts and i am very thankful for this course so i think you if you watch the main video which you definitely should if you haven't um i asked for games and i'm pretty sure i said do you have nintendo sega playstation wii ds that's kind of my go-to order and she said no and then she kind of laughed i was like ah yeah nothing like that and then we just continued talking and eventually she's like, I do have an N64. And in my head, I'm like, well, yeah, that N stands for Nintendo. Uh, but sure, yeah. I, <laughs> she's like, but you probably wouldn't be interested in that. I'm like, well, I would. She didn't know if it works. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's going to work. Like, there's no reason it won't. And she said I had three games. And, of course, it's a beautiful three game. I, I couldn't believe that. She only wanted 15 bucks. I gave her 50 And then that's what led to her saying, oh, well, I do have a Nintendo as well. <laughs> and she brought out this entire tub. This and isn't I was just, just thinking, a Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, like, I was just thinking this would be a system with maybe a couple games like that. System, two Mike Tyson's Punch-Outs. I haven't even really looked into this yet, so we're going to unbox it now. Tech Mobile, To the Earth, Russian Attack, Cobra Command. Wall Street Kid. Wall Street Kid, that's kind of a cool one. Let's see, that's... Eight games right there. We'll go stacks of ten. Bases loaded and Fester's Questers, as Sky Guy would call it. Uh, golf Grand Slam, and I can't remember if that's uncommon. I don't think it is. Uh, Mario Golf. Tecmo NBA Basketball. Mario Duck Hunt. Ice Hockey. Tiger Heli. Sky Shark. A lot of nice sleeves for these, too. And then you've got Super Jeopardy. Hogan's Alley. Nice one. Birthday Blowout. Decent. Slot man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paperboy, Turtles. Nice. We're at 22 games so far. Oh yeah. Let's go. That's a good one. Contra, another Mario, Cubert. This one, this one I did notice, which is a nice one. Monster Party. That's like a 20, 25 dollar game. Okay. Uh, Ten Yard Fight, and a third <laughs> Mario Duck Hunt. Well, there's more. And there's more games. Oh my gosh. And these ones are the ones that I have not seen. I just have seen what's on top. Which it looks like there's a whole stack of manuals, so that's amazing. Zelda. I hope there's a Zelda down there. Uh, Wall Street Kids, some Mario, Kung Fu, another Mario, To the Earth, Hogan's Alley, and Super Jeopardy manuals. The system manual. And it looks like we do have Zelda. Let's go. Oh, we got two? There's two. Ice Hockey, Double Dragon, Mario 3, and two. Legend of Zelda. Oh my gosh. That puts us at 30 games. Now we're at 33. Tetris. Tetris. Star Tropics and Tetris. Let's go. What a weird bundle. Three copies of Tetris and Mario. Two of Zelda. Two of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That's insane. And then you got a system with two zappers. Three controllers. And no game inside. So we got 37 games. The system, two zappers, three controllers, with some some manuals, and all that for a hundred bucks. That's crazy. Definitely feeling blessed with that one. Um, I don't think I would have got it if I didn't pay more on the N64. I, I, I it would have been fine to pay fifteen dollars, and I don't I like I've done it before. Um, but this year I'm kind of changing my model a little bit and saying if I can pay more, I'm going to try to as much as I can. Not every time, but when I remember, as much as I can. And in this case, because I did on that, I think that's what led her to bring out the Nintendo. In fact, she literally said, oh, they're worth that much these days? I said, yeah, to me they are. And so she went and got the Nintendo, and that's that's what happened. Nintendo with 37 games. It's a beautiful thing. For $100. For $100. No hollers on that. Especially with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, probably the best uh, games in there. And there's two of them. And those go for like 40 or 50 bucks, I think. Which is kind of wild. Oh, Russian Attacks at 5 screw. Yep, there you go. That's a common one to be a 5 screw, maybe? I feel like we have a few of those. Yeah, it might five be. Screw. Maybe so it was just that really nice that, Sky Guy. So, for those that don't know. Which one of these things doesn't belong here? <laughs> Do you notice any differences? These little tabs are not there on five screw cartridges because there were two screws in the top corners, meaning you didn't need this little latch system. So if I were to push all these games over and show it to you, <laughs> there'd be five screws 
on that cartridge. But that's kind of how you can tell if you're just browsing through. Some other common ones that can be five screws would be like Hogan's Alley. That's one that's that can be five screw pretty frequently, just because I'm not sure. But it just indicates that it was a very early print. Um, and that, that yeah, that's that. Yep. So yeah, the, the original black box games were five screw, all of them. And then there's some variants that are five screws within. All right, and this was the last score of the day, which we really, I don't think, have shown in great detail in the main video. So I think I ended up paying $30 for this. Uh, Xbox 360 with some games. It's <laughs> super, super dusty. I feel like this one had a hard drive in it. 320. 320. So that is the biggest hard drive that came with the 360. You can get up to 500. Uh, some... Transcendence, yo! Movie? Yeah, you know who's in this movie? Uh, Jonathan Black. No, close. William Jonathan Smith. Depp. Jonathan Depp? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> That's got two controllers and then another stack of games here. Uh, probably the Godfather 2 is the best one, unless I'm missing something, but okay games, but great system to have the 320 in it. 30 bucks. That's a classic garage sale bundle. Wow. It's like when you ask for games and they say, I've got Xbox or I've got Wii, it's the least exciting, but it's still games, and they still... Honestly, like, that's what... Uh, Puts food on the table around here is 360s and Wii's, because we get so many of them. And then, so, at the end of the day, and I'm just, I've still got to gather remnants from Josh, so I hung out with Josh, a viewer who has become a friend, he's local, um, and we, we went to his house at the end, and I haven't shown any of this stuff that I got from him. Oh. So he had scored these for five bucks at a garage sale, which is crazy. It's Micro Machines. <gasps> Dude, I had so many Micro Machines. This is yeah. like a vintage like city yeah, set. These, these oh are... my goodness. He said there's 80 to 100 Micro Machines in here. That is so cool. I had a city like this growing up. Yeah. It was it was one of the newer ones where it was like futuristic like. Okay. And there were more like bigger base plates that you could just just. That's so cool. So if you ever see Micro Machines at a garage sale, usually they're cheap. And almost always, they're worth something, especially if you lot them up. Um, so for this entire box, I gave him 100 bucks Because I just am like, yeah, I mean, if you lot them up, they might be two to $300. I looked up some lots. These ones do have all these cases and stuff, which could be interesting. And like a lot of accessories and parts. So he hooked me up, but again... His profit margin was pretty good there, paying five dollars for this box. What's in this one? Oh boy, there is stuff in here, isn't there? Oh, this is a like a Whoa. garage. Like that alone is that's cool. Unique enough. That's probably something like... that could be sold individually from here. And there's the yellow. <laughs> Pokemon yellow. Yeah, we had also worked out a trade for my Pokemon Stadium, and um, I'll be gathering. All of the trade items that I got for that, because it's a complete in box Pokemon Stadium that I'm trading, and I'm interested to see how these will do. We'll keep, we'll try to keep y'all posted on how they do. These I always say buy the kids books that are of the same kind, so you can just put them in a lot, and if you can get them cheap. So I got this entire stack for four dollars. They're all hardcover. Dark Horse is usually pretty good. Yes, yeah, that's that's a good bolo. Be on the look for the Dark Horse books. Um, Nine of them here, probably worth at least thirty dollars paid for. So that worked out. And then this one was wild. The just a beautiful moment in the garage sale, shuffling through the games. <gasps> Jonathan Depp. Jonathan Depp again. And then getting to this one and seeing a quarter, opening it up. Oh my god. Fully complete, beautiful condition. Mind blown on that one. And then this one's sealed, so that's kind of cool. And I was like, well, for twenty five cents, I have to get all of them. You know, nothing crazy, but 25 cents, the price is right. I didn't even open them up to check. <laughs> and then this was marked at five bucks, and same story. When you see books of the same kind, especially kids' books, they're easily laudable. They sell quick and easy on eBay. So she wanted 650. She didn't get it. She got 20. I gave her 20 bucks. <laughs> she gave me a hug, and it was a it's a nice little moment. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I got so much in. I wasn't even out that long. I guess I was, but like I was out for four or five hours. Oh. 
Steam controller and Steam Link, and I bundled them together for 10 bucks. I feel like these have gone down, but I know at one time they were certainly good buys at those prices. I wonder if with the Steam Deck coming out. Yeah, I, I don't know if that will help them or hurt them, but yeah. uh, I was willing to buy them at that. And then this garage sale here, these games here were on an ask. Um, so she brought them out. She said the 360 works. It's a 120 gigabyte. And then also this calculator. And that, that was my favorite part of it. And it, it would need a new battery. But uh, $30 is what I paid for everything. So if it works, it's a great score. If it doesn't, I'll probably just break even on parts. But there is a wireless network adapter in there. So that's going to... Yeah, what's, what's that worth? 20 30 maybe 30 on amazon okay and then so, on amazon for the you normally do these on amazon right you wouldn't go on ebay calculators yeah yeah so probably if it works 80 bucks okay. after fees if you were to sell them on ebay what it's what are people kind of similar get? like yeah okay this is an 84 plus c silver edition so it's the newer version of an 84 plus okay and it's a little more desirable but even just the regular 84 pluses are 50 40 or 50 83 pluses are 30 so always look out for the Texas Instruments calculators. If you don't know about them, you need to know about them and get every single one you see if they're cheap. These Pokemon cards. I was expecting Yu-Gi-Oh! I was going to be disappointed. <laughs> I know, right? An hour later, these came out from that garage sale. These do not look very good. <laughs> the condition isn't great. But what's what, what are they? Oh my gosh, the first yeah. one you come to? So they knew what they had, and they wanted me to just go through and just help them out full of hollows that this or, these were the best ones just, here oh, okay so i kind of went through they had the hollow separated and then i found like all the shadowless which shadowless to the right of the card there's mm -hmm. no shadow but you can see on this one there is shadowless is the second print of base set people often call base set first edition that's a common misconception base this is base set unlimited we don't have any base set first edition we do have base set shadowless but first edition would be stamped here, but that card's not from, that's from the Fossil set. So, if you know, you know. But Squirtle Shadowless, Pikachu Shadowless are nice ones. And I got the whole collection for 75 I was predicting, due to the condition and some other things, it might have a retail of like 130 I offered 65 They counted at 75 I said, sure. Anything for you to complete the sets that you're building? Or not I think, I, I, think I already have everything there. But yeah, the Venusaur is probably like heavily played. So that's the best card, but not in great condition. And usually the best cards are the ones that are in the worst condition. That's just how kids care the most about the cool cards. Mm -hmm. You got to show it to all your friends. You put it in right. your back pocket to bring it to school. Yes. Check out my chaws on. And then you don't touch all the commas, and those ones are like near mint. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Uh, this Wii was also on an ask. The power of the ask was super strong. There were 12 neighborhood sales in town. I went to one. I think everybody else went to all the others. Okay. So I kind of had free raid. Uh, Mario Party 9, I was happy they found that one. That's a big one. That's a fun one. Yep, it's a fun one. Valuable. And the Wii system and a stack of games. And he was kind of like, he brought out his games and was like, you tell me what you want, I'll tell you if I'll sell it. Because <laughs> he wanted to keep a lot of them, but he didn't have time to sift through. And sometimes we'll, we'll say that, like, hey, just bring it out. We'll make you an offer. Yep. If you say no, you say no. Like, yep. that's fine. So we ended up getting Rock Band 3, which is a good bolo. Guitar Hero 3, Rock Band Track Pack. Uh, there's a GameCube game down here. Spyro. Oh. So I can't go wrong with that. It, that's got a sticker for $1.99. I miss those days at game stores. This is this might be the best one I got. Blitz the League 2, which is on the sports game list, which is part of our Patreon benefits. So check out Patreon Discord if you're if you're not in it. I definitely recommend it if you want to increase your reselling game. And then just a lot of like decent $10 to $20 games. Star Wars Battlefront 2, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, you know, Black Ops 2, got Guitar Hero Metallica, stuff like that. And I, I had to pay up again $125 because they were both kind of like resellers but didn't want to do the work. So they just kind of said, yeah, make me a fair offer. So that's what I did, $125. Should be worth about $250 after fees. And then one last score, which might actually be the most profitable score of the day. I got sneezed. <laughs> uh, so Skylar just sneezed, and we're going to get back into it. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. I'll cover for you. I got all these things, and they ended up working at this company, which kind of 
I assume they were junk, but these are actually really nice. And Alyssa, my wife, has been looking for these. Portable uh, car chargers. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so 10 bucks a piece. They're brand new. And they go for like 100 all day long. So are we just going to be using those? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep at least one of them. Really. Oh, you got more. Yeah, there's more. So another oh. another car jump starter. A little smaller version of it. Another one. <laughs> and then this is a heavy duty like flashlight with charger and <laughs> other things <laughs> what on earth and that one goes for like 70 so it was like 70 80 80 100 100 so that's three uh 440 in value wow and i paid 40 bucks okay. and they were totally fine with that i should have stick stuck around and asked if they had more but i didn't want to take everything they had so i just got what was on the table there and left some of the other lower end stuff and then another fun one, these Hot Wheels cars. A lot of them were from the 70s. Some were 69. Any red lines? I didn't see any red lines. And uh, what is a red line? Okay, red line. Let's grab a couple here. So, red line means if you if the wheel's right here, like around, around the rim, there's literally just a red circle. And those are the early Hot Wheels, like the 69 Hot Wheels had those red lines those are the ones to look for those are the ones you got to know about if you see them at a garage sale you gotta buy them sometimes they make they remake them and put red lines on the newer ones but if they're the old ones with red lines that's good and even some of the new ones are often like club cars or something and those can be good as well i got another wee bundle down here but <laughs> <laughs> what yeah it's uh i got a lot of wees that day this one i think i paid 30 bucks on an ask um it had some games it had zelda skyward sword but that was the only game that wasn't in there and it wasn't in the system which was a bummer and then i got these two for five dollars sitting out on the table she said she sold a bunch earlier in the day so i'm sure there were some gems in there but that was the entire day it was a crazy day shout out to josh for uh hanging out with me going to sales and yeah what else did you get from him Oh yeah, so I got some systems from him. We already sold two of the GameCubes because we had boxes for them. We sold oh, them on yeah. our GameCube stream. I paid him seventy dollars per GameCube console, which is pretty pretty high, pretty mm -hmm. generous. But I could use them that night, and he had already cleaned and tested them. And then I got two Super Nintendos for sixty dollars, and those are out here. And then two PS2s for sixty dollars. So kind of tried to pay him about honestly more than half of what I can get after fees. They're cleaned and tested. But he so. had them wrapped, clean, tested. And to me, there's value in that. Because then we don't have to do any of that. And we know it's good to go. And I can trust him because I know him. And it was nice of him to hook me up with everything there. And I can't find the rest of the trade items I got from him. But he's going to get that Pokemon Stadium for N64. Right here. I got the three main Pokemon games for Game Boy Color. Red, Blue, Yellow. Fortnite, Xbox One. And then like a couple other things that equaled about 250 in value, and he's getting a beautiful condition, complete Pokemon Stadium for his collection. So that was the day. It was a great one. Well, we gotta check the PS3. Let's do it.